I'm going to show you how to do the backing of a piece of bead embroidery. Uh, I haven't done the edging on this one yet, uh, so just ignore that. But I'll show you how to put the backing on and uh, how to attach um, a brooch finding so that it's nicely hidden. So if I open it up, you'll see that you can't see the most of it. Can you see in the middle? Okay, you can just see the bits that you need, kind of. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and then at the end I'll show you how to do the edging stitch as well to attach the, the ultra suede onto the beading foundation. Okay, now the way the reason I like to do it like this, you can just, once your whole piece is finished, you can just take your, your brooch back and stitch it on, but obviously it's not going to look nearly as nice as it does uh, like that. Okay, so to do that what you're going to need is obviously your piece of um, bead embroidery that you've done, you're going to need a brooch back, you're going to need uh, some ultra suede for your backing. You're going to need a pair of sharp scissors. Um, preferably, you, you, you're going to need um, a thread zapper, but it's not essential. You can use a lighter if you haven't got one. Uh, for the edging, you're going to need some of your seed beads, and you're going to need a pen, and you're going to need a beading needle with, uh, I've used some six pound fire line um, for my stitching. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that. Right, so I've got my finished piece of bead embroidery here, which I want to back, okay? So I've got my, my ultra suede. I'm going to cut a piece of that a little bit bigger than my finished piece is going to be, just to make it easier to position it into the right place, okay? So there's my piece of ultra suede, okay? Now what I'm going to do, uh, now the ultra suede does have a, a softer side and a harder side, so I like to use the softer side as the, as the front, or the piece that you're going to be seeing, uh, and the harder side as the back, but it doesn't really matter that much, so whichever side you want to use is fine. Okay, now I'm going to take my brooch. Now I like to attach a brooch pin to a piece like this, vertically, like so. Because, if you have it attached this way, you can also put it on a, on a chain and wear it as a pendant uh, or as a necklace. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to position your brooch pin more or less in the middle because that's where it's going to be, need to be on your finished piece. Okay, then with just an ordinary pen, you're going to make a mark. Just hold it down. Okay, you're going to make a mark. Can you see where the hinge attaches to the flat piece? Okay. Just make a little mark just there on your ultra suede, and the same here where you have your your sort of hinge piece attaching to the to the flat section. So make another little mark over there. Okay, just with an ordinary pen. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your ultra suede, you're going to fold it in half so that you have the little marks on the edge of your fabric, and you're going to take a pair of scissors. And you're going to cut a little slit into the fabric, like so. Not too deep, uh, I've probably got sort of three or four millimeters here cut in, and the same where your other mark is. Okay, so you should have about a little bit more than half a centimeter length of a cut. Okay, you can go, let's go a little bit deeper just to make it easier. Okay, so I've got my little holes in there, just a little bit longer than a half a centimeter. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that aside for a second, and I'm going to take my brooch pin and attach it to the back of my piece. Just with a few stitches with whatever thread that you're using. I'm using fire line here, so I've just burnt the end of it to make a little knot at the end, so it doesn't come out of my, my, my fabric, my foundation. Okay, but you can put in a couple of stitches just to make sure that it's extra secure. Okay, then take your brooch pin, hold it up there, and just go through the holes. You don't have to go through all three of the holes, just the two end ones, just to hold it in place. 
with a few stitches. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want the brooch pin to just be attached to the ultra suede on the back because the ultra suede is going to be attached to your work by the little edging stitches that you're going to do to finish it off. And if that's the only thing holding it in place, um, uh, and you give a bit of a strong tug on it when you're putting it on or whatever, then you, you might pull the backing foundation away from your piece. So you don't really want to do that. So this way it's, the brooch is attached to the actual, uh, the bead work itself. Okay, just do one or two stitches through the hole. You can go through the middle one as well just to be extra sh sure that it's nice and tight. Try to make it sit kind of straight. <laughs> okay. Let's do one more stitch. Okay. It's not quite in the middle, but you get the idea. You'll take a little bit more care and make sure it's in the middle. I'll do another stitch here to center, uh, center it a bit better. Okay. Just do a couple of stitches through your fabric to finish off the thread. Okay, cut off your thread. Right. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your your brooch pin, open it up. Okay. Then you're going to take your your ultra suede. Now this is the back of the ultra suede where I drew on. I'm going to go through the ultra suede with my pin from the back. Start with the with the end with the with the pin in. Go through one of those little holes. And just jiggle it until your hinge comes through the slit that you've made in the ultra suede. Okay? And then on the other side, your other slit should be in the right place. Put the other side of the hinge through there. Okay? So your brooch pin is now nicely hidden behind your ultra suede. Okay? You can close it up again just to stop yourself from stabbing you. <laughs> okay? There you go. And it's attached nicely there. Then all you're going to do is you're going to cut your um, your ultra suede to the right size to finish off your piece, and then you're going to do your decorative stitch around the edge. So just take your time to trim it to the right size. I'm just going to do a small section of it. I'll do the top piece because that's the easiest to show you. Okay, like that, and then you do your edging stitch to finish off the edges of your beadwork. Okay, okay, I'm quickly just going to show you how to do one edging stitch uh, that you can do on the edge. Um, there are a few different ones that you can do, but this is a quick and easy one. Uh, so, I've got my beading needle threaded with some six pound fire line. You need a knot at the end of your thread, so you can either tie a knot or a double knot, but I find it's quicker and easier just to take your thread zapper or a lighter and just melt the end of your thread until you have a nice big sort of melted knot on the end of it there. Okay? So, what you're going to do then is you're going to take your, your piece, wherever you want to start, you're going to go through just the beading foundation at this point, don't go through the um, ultra suede because you want to hide your knot inside your work. Okay, so just like that. Then you're going to pick up a seed bead. Okay, and then you're going to do a stitch through your ultra suede and through the beading foundation in approximately in the same spot where you've just gone through. Okay, like that. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your thread. And you're going to go through, your thread is going this way through your bead on the side. You're going to take your thread through the bead in the same direction again. 
Okay, so now your bead is standing on its edge like that. Okay, so for your next bead, you're just going to pick up your next bead. Then you're going to make a stitch right next to your previous bead, maybe a millimeter away from it, about half the width of a bead away from it. You're going to make another little stitch, pull it down, then go back up through the bead that you've just added. Put it tight and it'll sit nicely on the edge like that. Okay, I'll do another one. So pick up your bead, do another stitch right next to your previous bead. Okay. Pull your thread through and then go back up. It's almost like a blanket stitch. Okay. I'm just going to carry on like that all the way around. Let me do another one quickly. So pick up your bead, do your little stitch, and then go back up through the bead again. Okay, that's going to make a nice little edging and it's going to hold your, um, your ultra suede onto the back of your piece of work. Okay, and that's how you do a really nice brooch back on a piece of bead embroidery.